Hey folks, hey Earl over here. What you've been watching is our continued work to get more trees and bushes and, and so on growing on this property. And of course that's a bit challenging, as you probably know if you've been watching videos here. The only ones that were really here when we moved in were the, the big row of trees along the creek and most of the rest of the property was pretty open. Um, we'd like more for privacy, for shade, for um, windbreaks, for their many benefits of fruits or berries or nuts, um, for flowers and pollinators, etc. So we want quite a few more. And so we've been continuing to work to plant, but of course it's a, a harsh climate. So the, uh, the that process starts with uh, selecting varieties that have at least a chance of growing here. And so what you're looking at is um, several caraganas or Siberian pea shrubs. Those are the, the same plant. And um, they are a nitrogen fixing plant and they're pretty hardy, as you may guess from their name Siberian. And in some places I think I've heard they can be invasive. Not really here. Very few things are invasive in my area because very few things grow at all. Anyway, they can make an excellent hedge. I know they can survive in the area because there's other places in the, the general neighborhood that have them growing. So we planted a bunch of them. The two tallest ones here I had planted a year and a half ago, right after we closed on this property. And they have about tripled in size and now we've added several new ones. Uh, I've also got a small lilac here. This I had actually dug up from my old clearing. I had planted it there after um, rescuing it as a, like a dollar pot at the end of a season sale and it was looking kind of pathetic. And it's grown a bunch, not a ton. I think it really needed more sun than the clearing had. So I have moved it to here and it is shooting out a lot of new buds this year. So hopefully uh, it will do a lot more growing. I think it'll be happier here with the more open sunshine. And these little green guys are called mungo pines, or I think they go by uh, some other kind of pine name. I forget. They're native to high alpine, high beautiful, high alpine cold mountain areas. And they get to be a big bush. Um, I, I've heard they can get up to 20 feet tall. I've never seen any in this area get that tall, but 10, 12 feet, so they're not really a tree, but they do get very dense. So again, this is a, a good thing to have along our fence line as a, a wind block and such, once they get bigger than this, which hopefully they will. So we're still experimenting with the best ways to get things in addition to selecting varieties that at least have a chance to grow here, um, with getting them to take off and, and grow as you know, establish themselves as rapidly as we can. And I know in a lot of areas people look to, you know, what did native peoples do? Well, unfortunately in this area there really isn't any info on that to look on to the best of my knowledge. Even um, native folks in this area didn't live here full time. Um, all the native tribes that were known to be in this area, to the best of my knowledge, uh, spent summers around here and then would go to warmer places in the winter. So there's not a whole lot of uh, you know, native year-round residents to look to for info. So, um, what you watched us do there is Clay dug the holes for me. I hate digging holes. So that was awesome. And we put, in each hole, we put um, some urine-soaked sawdust in the bottom with a little soil on top of it. So it should be a good nitrogen and carbon base down under there. Then put the tree or bush or whatever in and then um, filled it back in with soil. The neighbor horses are getting wound up. Watered each one into place with some what I call my duck muck water. Ducks like to poop in their water and so whenever I empty out all their little basins and pans I have scattered around the property so that they can always get water wherever they want. It's pretty mucky which makes excellent fertilizer so we soaked each one with that. And then what I've been working on today, as you can see it was a lot colder the other day. It's getting cold again. It's still snow flurried up through last night and then most of today has been sunny and pretty warm and now it's clouding up and kind of cooling off again. But um, the rocks I did of each ring around, that was an idea I got from somebody else who has a lot of ducks and chickens. Um, that's to help hopefully prevent the chickens and ducks from scratching the small surface roots right out of the ground because they do free range and they like to peck around things. So hopefully the rocks will keep them from being able to dig up each plant because they're too big for them to move. And then I've put down all that thick cardboard. I've been saving cardboard from anything we got it from all winter long because there is, it's just starting to get green, but there's a good bit of sod on this property and there was when we got here. And while if these get established enough, they should be fine no matter what the grass does. Um, I don't want them to get choked out as they're, they're trying to get going. So I'm hoping the cardboard will stay intact in its thick layers that I put it down in long enough 
to kind of smother that sod for a few years till these plants at least get themselves a little more established and, and bigger and better able to compete. And then because the cardboard doesn't look that attractive and because I want to eventually decompose and because I don't want to blow away the next time we have a windy day, I'm covering it with um, my wood chips from my pile of those and then I'm just soaking it on top. I'll probably give it another round or two here because I want that whole mass to kind of get soggy and settle in so if a gust of wind comes along here it can't still find a cardboard edge to pick up and flip and undo what I've done. So this is a bit of an experiment. I haven't tried uh, doing any exactly like this before. I'm still experimenting with the best ways to get things going here. Oh, and the, the little stuff you saw me sprinkle around, that was the same uh, various mineral amendments that I had applied to the garden last fall. Um, the same kind of things. The uh, soil test showed our soil is generally out of balance on, um, so you can go back and look at that video if you want details on that. But uh, the soil across our property looks fairly similar, so I've just applied the same things around the base of each of these, and that's now buried under the the cardboard rocks and, and wood chips because I want them to be as happy and healthy as they can be so I want them to have as near as I can get to a good uh, mineralization of the soil and then between the cardboard and the um, wood chips and stuff I should be adding a good bit of uh, good habitat and such for good microbial life as well as you know the mineral and microbe contents and things like duck poop and I will probably uh, I've got some other homemade fertilizer ideas that I haven't ever tried that I want to play with this year so that's what you see going on here and I think the finished result looks pretty nice I'll find out how the the grass here is pretty aggressive find out how long it takes it to burst through my layers of cardboard and such but I'm hoping that just that this will retard it like I said for a few years till the the bushes and stuff can grow up a little bigger and then hopefully you know we want to get stuff like this going all around the property can, but I can only do so much at once so um, you know in chunks I'm going to keep working on this but hopefully we can get to the point where we have a nice solid wall of beautifully variegated dense bushes with habitat for little birds to nest in and the pea shrubs with beautiful smelling yellow flowers that also make a, a wonderful little pea that the birds and chickens and stuff like to eat and a wind barrier and blooming lilacs and you know kind of a privacy hedge and all that so that's the hope that's my vision as you can see right now we have several inches or several feet tall plants and it's not that at all but we're hoping it's going to get there <laughs> We hope you enjoyed it. Come back next time for more adventures. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching.